So in 1792, Tobago is under French rule, but that did not stop the man who would become the future governor-in-chief of Tobago from riding it by horseback. And he documented his findings in a diary. That man was Sir William Young, pictured here as a youth. He was already 49 by the time he came to Tobago. And he was a second baronet. He inherited the title and about four plantations and about 896 enslaved Africans when his father, the first baronet, died in 1788. So you just gonna will 900 people to another person like here, look it. Hmm. Anyway, William too was a career politician and in October 1791, he was like, yeah, I'm gonna take a break. He took a break from British politics and decided he was going to go on a whirlwind tour of the West Indies of his plantations to understand how the sugar industry and the slave trade operated. Young explored Barbados, St. Vincent, Grenada, and Tobago. On Monday, March 5th, 1792, Young left on a sloop of war called Flora from St. Vincent to Tobago. Large extracts of Young's private journal were detailed in this book, History of Tobago by Henry Isles Woodcock. Henry Isles Woodcock would be to one of Tobago's chief justices. Henry Woodcock said this in the book, right before giving us all of Sir William Young's tea. He said, Sir William Young's narrative, although written in the careless style of a private journal not intended for publication, is so interesting as giving a faithful picture of the country at the time he writes that I cannot forbear introducing large extracts from it. So we start at the entry 230 years ago today, which would be March 15, 1792. Young wrote that he set out early in the morning from his estate, which was likely in close proximity to Queen's Bay, and by afternoon he reached the Louisdor estate, which he approximated as being 20 miles from Port Louis. So I know Tobagoians going to be like, Port Louis? You don't have nowhere called Port Louis in Tobago. But what if I told you that not only is there a place called Port Louis, but that you go there at least two to three times a week? This is Port Louis. When the French got to Tobago, they were like, nah, -uh, none of this scabroness. This year is Port Louis. And I claim it for France. Okay, so back to the diary. Young says that the nature seen in Tobago is nothing short of extensive. And he said it gives the illusion of a place much larger than its size. Say, of a continent, not necessarily an island. He also details that Tobago is not alone, as our vicinity to the Spanish main suggests that possibly Tobago was torn from South America. The next day, Young describes his encounters with the Negroes of his plantation as well as the Red Cabbage.